show you how to do some long exposure car photography during the day. It's totally possible. But first, That might have been a little bit too much food. I feel like I'm kind of stuffed right now. Well, I, I am kind of stuffed right now, but whew, I kind of regretting it now. There's a Mustang back here, sitting here idling. <coughs> Ow. And it's loud, man. Well, not really loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I do. I mean, I, I like Mustangs. I, mean, I, I like all cars, but, you know, whatever. So we're going to go to, uh, God, I forget what it's called. The place that I wanted to go to before and never ended up going, but... I want to try to do some long exposure photography there. And yeah, I know, it's the middle of the day, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, it's really quite easy, but with that being said, let's go. We're going to go explore this place, and uh, like I said, I'm going to take some pictures, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to POV it. I think I'm just going to kind of, you know, record and explain what I'm doing. Be easier that way. Um, we're back at, well, I'm at the spot. Here's the view. Gorgeous, right? So, what's gonna happen? All that water is just gonna be like glass. Now, there's really two things you need to do this one, the tripod, and two is an ND filter, and obviously the camera. So, let me get stuff set up and I'll show you what we can get. So, got the settings and everything dialed in. It's freaking crazy. So, with an ND filter, I think it's like an ND8, if I remember correctly. You can see the settings. 8 seconds, F22. I can, A7R2 goes in ISO 50, so I have it all the way down. But, this is the result. Now, I would honestly set a timer for five seconds or two pretty impressive i'll show you the edited ones once uh get back to the studio and start editing them but uh that's what you can do during the day with the nd filter so i just got one at 30 seconds f22 iso 50. you can't really see it but wait till I edit it the water looks amazing like long exposure photography doing anything light is amazing guys like I highly suggest you try it uh, that I ended up getting I was at 30 seconds uh, f22 ISO 50 I was recording on the a7r2 or recording taking pictures on the a7r2 so I'm able to have a lot lower of an ISO um, so able it enables a lot less light to come in, so I'm able to bump up the shutter speed, or make the shutter speed lower, so, for, you know, longer exposures. Um, I had to take out all the specs and everything, all that, all that stuff, and you can see the after, that's, uh, all the dust, dust specs, and I think there was bugs, like there was a lot of bugs flying around there and stuff, so I had to take care of that, but 
overall, I'm not like super happy with it, but I think it's a pretty good picture. Um, I actually am probably going to go back to this location again. Um, I do want to go back there uh, to do some long exposure night photography. I went there one time before and I forgot my memory card for my camera, so I didn't really have it. Didn't, didn't have it. So with that being said, it's cool. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to end this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed going out and hanging out and everything. And uh, yeah, if you would, this is day number yeah, this is day number six for the uh, PETA challenge. <sighs> like 24 more days left. It's a lot of videos to be posting every single day, but I'll make it happen. If you guys have anything you want me to talk about or have any questions for me and stuff that I posted, let me know, please. It'd be great. I need ideas. Like I'm going to start running out of them. So um, just uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I upload something. And uh, click some of the links below. It's a list of the gear and everything that I use. Just a kind of, you know, little kickback I get from Amazon and stuff. It just kind of helps things keep going. And uh, that being said, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.